All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week's project is origami. Origami is the ancient art of Chinese paper folding. Origami uses paper only. No glue, no markers or crayons or anything like that. All you need is a piece of paper. Now, if you want to decorate it with marker or crayons, that's fine after you're done. I don't care. But the only thing that you need to make origami is you, your computer, which you should have because you're watching this video, and a piece of paper. Now, where are you going to get this piece of paper? Doesn't matter. You can use your sketchbook paper. You can use a printed a printer paper. You can use newspaper. It doesn't matter. It's just paper. But you are going to need it to be square. Usually with origami, the paper is square. As you can see, my three papers are not square. So I'm going to show you two ways to create a square piece of paper. Because these two, you will do the same thing. So if all you have is sketchbook paper, you can take a page out. I don't care. If you have, or a couple pages out. If you have um, paper from a printer or junk mail that your mom and dad get, this is probably the easiest because you already have two sides that are square and this already has two sides that are square. And all you do to make your paper square is you're gonna take this corner here and you are going to fold it so that this edge, this bottom edge, lines up with this side here as perfectly as possible. Okay, you want it to be as perfect as possible. This ancient art is from China and they are very perfectionists when it comes to their origami. Okay, the next step you're gonna do is this line right here. We can trace it using our pencil or some other kind of writing utensil, doesn't matter what. So I have my line right there. If I were to cut that off, the section off, I would have a perfect square here. So I'm gonna go cut that off and I will be right back. Voila, I now have a perfect square. So you will need scissors if you don't have a perfect square piece of paper. All right, so you need a perfect square piece of paper. Check. Now, what if you don't have one that has, already has two edges, like this newspaper here? Oh no, what am I gonna do? I need a perfect square. You have your sketchbook, and your sketchbook has two perfect sides. So what you're gonna do is take your sketchbook and draw it, the two perfect sides, onto your newspaper, and you will cut those out, voila, two sides that are perfectly straight, and then I can do the same thing, but Miss Courtright, you had a third side that was straight. Line up the bottom of the page of a sketchbook. Ta-da, just like that. And then draw another line. And then I can line this corner and this bottom line up to here. This line that I just drew as perfectly as possible. You can have mom and dad help if you need to. And then you're gonna cut out along that line and that line. Be right back. And ta-da, I have another perfect square piece of paper. Ta-da! All right, so you can use these perfect square pieces of paper to create origami. I'm gonna show you how to do my favorite, which is a butterfly. And then you can go onto YouTube and find some other images that you want, or other origamis that you wanna create. I have a playlist that I will link in the Google Classroom if you wanna look at those, or you can come up with your own. For this project, you have to create four, 
count them, one, two, three, four, different origami things. They all have to be different. So you can't make four cranes or four fortune tellers. You have to make four different things. So you could make a butterfly and a fortune teller and a crane and a fish. I don't care. But then you are going to take a picture of all four and upload them to Google Classroom by the end of the week. And that is the project for this week. Now, if you create more than four, you're obviously gonna get a better grade. Four is the minimum. Four is how you get a mastering, okay? More will get you exceptional. But now I'm gonna show you how to create a butterfly. So I already have my first fold done, where it is folded corner to corner in a triangle shape, okay? I'm gonna unfold it, and I'm gonna fold it in a the other way in a triangle shape so that when I unfold it completely, I will have an X in my paper, okay? You can see it on this side, there's an X, all right? The next step, after you have your X, you're gonna make sure that your paper is kind of making a tent. See how it's raised on this side? It's not making a bowl. A bowl would be like this, where it's popping up on the sides. You want it on a tent, and you're gonna fold it into a rectangle. Okay, just like that, and then we'll unfold it again. So right now you have a line here, and a line here, and a line here, okay? And you are going to take those lines and you are going to push them in. I'm pinching this little triangle right here. See that triangle? And I'm going to push down, pinch and push, to create a triangle that's going to lay flat just like that. So I have a triangle here. And all I did, if you wanna watch that again, I have one here, one here, and one here. And I pushed in here and here and flattened that so that I have this triangle right here. I'll have two, two on this side, two little leaves on this side, and two on this side. I can show you from a top view. There it is. So I'm gonna lay it flat. The next step, I'm gonna take this first leaf here, and I'm going to pick it up and fold it, just this first leaf, so that it goes to the top of the triangle. Okay, just like that. So I picked up this first leaf and folded it to the top of the triangle. Then I'm gonna take this side and do the same thing. So pick up that first leaf and fold it to the top of the triangle. So you're gonna have a diamond shape right here with these first two leaves, okay? Then I will flip over my origami piece so I'm on the other side of the triangle. Okay, so all I did was take these, this little diamond and flip it over so that I don't see it anymore. And then I'm gonna take the what was the top of my triangle and I'm going to pull it up so that it goes past this top line here. Now it's gonna make these two little leaves stick up. That's okay, that's what we want to happen. And it's not gonna fold perfectly flat. I can't fold this perfectly fat over here. That's okay, we want that to happen. So I have this tip of my triangle so that it goes over top of this little bottom of the triangle, okay? So I'll zoom in you in to see that. So you'll see how this part goes over top of this. So the next step is to fold that little triangle top over top of that line Ta-da, so you don't see it anymore, okay? And these guys are sticking up still. We still want them sticking up. I couldn't fold this all the way down. And we're going to fold it in half backwards. So I just put it down just like that. 
And at any point you need to pause the video and watch it again, go right ahead. And then I'm done. I have an origami butterfly right there. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty simple. There is another video of this if you need help. You can watch the other person on YouTube who did this. So remember, you have to do four origami. This is one. You guys are in charge of coming up with the other three origami pieces that you do. And then you're gonna upload them to Google Classroom with a picture of your beautiful smiling face so that I can see your hard work. I hope you have fun, guys. Thanks for watching.